Hello, Noah. Hi, Noah. Grant and Brandon. Um, I yep. mean, Grant and Mustafa. There you go. Oh, my God. Do I look like a Brandon? <laughs> look at this. <laughs> wow, there's another spirit sitting right next to you, huh? <laughs> nice one. Oh, my God. Nice one. I like that. Uh, what an intro. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. You know, I was really excited for this. I actually watched the screener last night because I love these type of shows. I've been watching this show ever since I was a little kid. I love because that you're I, a fan. Wait, ever yeah. since you were a little kid? That makes my back hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this for well, a while. Why would you do that to him, <laughs> Noah? <laughs> Oh my God! You know, so I mean, I have loved the show, and Grant, you know, you have, you know, of course, taken time off, but you know, you're back at it again, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you've been doing this for over 30 years, you know, in the paranormal. Uh, so, what's like, you know, been one of the wildest stories for you because you've been doing this for so long? I'm sure there's one that you can possibly tell us this morning. So the problem is there are a lot, and uh, <laughs> it's hard to pick one. Um, but I remember when I was, like I started when I was 15, and I remember when I was 16, I went into the first um, home that was of someone I didn't know. I was helping friends and family before then. And I remember sitting there and uh, in the kitchen, and I heard um, some noises from out in the hallway. And so I went out in the oh. hallway to see what was there, and I saw this black kind of shadowy mass at the end of the hallway and it started to approach me and I could hear these footsteps and I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> and it came at me and, and hit me, slapped me Jeez, and it spun me around and I fell down. And most people would run out of there like, uh, like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> But I stood up and I was like, I was like, yes, this is what I want to do, because and it wasn't just the thrill of the experience. It was the fact that that homeowner had nowhere else to turn, and I didn't know this person, but somehow I cared enough to get slapped around by things weren't there in order to, to help them. Yeah, that's great. Wow. Yeah. Well, let's touch on what fans are going to get to see in the upcoming season of Ghost Hunters. So you, we're going to see the whole entire team go to a high, go to this high school uh, because there's a weird activity going on in the high school. The principal reached out to you guys for you all to come visit and to investigate because the students, the faculty, the principal, everyone thinks there's spirits living inside this high school. So, I mean, th th there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on that we'll see in this episode of the, uh, of the premiere, the debut of a new season coming back with Ghost Hunters. So what can fans expect? What are they in for when they watch this episode? Well, you know, we approach every investigation uh, with the mind to debunk stuff. And we went in there, and the first thing we wanted to do is we wanted to look at the claims. We wanted to see, okay, what are some things that we can debunk? And I'm not going to spoil yes. what we debunked or any of those claims or right. anything. <laughs> but we were, I'm just going to say, I was super surprised with some of the activity that we came into contact with. And it's just the nature of our investigations. We got two nights of investigations. Night one, it's like, okay, we were able to debunk some things. And then all of a sudden, we have more questions than we have answers. It's like, what? And then the second night, then we began to piece it all together. And then when we reviewed the footage and the evidence that we gathered, it all came together. And we really, really helped that school out. You know, and yeah, it was it's just awesome. a high school with you know, hundreds of students, no pressure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> One with a beautiful, long-standing legacy in the town that we could easily well, uh, besmirch, uh, but uh -huh. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> uh, well, the school, it was a beautiful school. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, hey, if my school didn't look that good, mm -hmm. right. yeah, it, was, it was a great school, and honestly, it was so cool because we got some experiences there um, that led us to a theory, Yeah. and yeah. we tested that theory, and I, I think it proved fruitful. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which you'll see a lot of on the show in general. Yeah, definitely, for sure. It's going to be a great season indeed. Um, I want to know, you know, because you both have really been doing this for some time now, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and you guys get to really, you know, um, I guess kind of have a relationship in the moment with the spirit. But, like, what has been, like, one of the most weirdest or coolest encounters you both have had with a spirit? Grant, we'll start off with you. Well, uh, I, was, I did uh, an investigation here in New York City where I'm at now, um, uh, and we kept catching this voice on, uh, on a recorder. It kept saying the name Beatrice. And we asked the homeowner. They didn't know who that was, and she had lived in that house, or her family had lived in that house for three generations. They didn't know, didn't know. Um, we kept asking her, her mom and then her grandmother. Didn't know, but then her grandmother finally said, you know what? go punch a hole in the wall and you'll have your answers. And so she told us where to go and we got permission and punched a hole in the wall and there was a leather bound journal 
from the client's uh -huh. grandfather who used to be involved in organized crime. And we're reading through this journal, and here comes the name Beatrice, who is a mistress. And um, mm. he got her pregnant, and she was going to squeal. So he oh, had his go goons throw her in a pit in the basement and cement it over. Uh -huh. So we went down and looked, and sure enough, wherever we caught this name, um, there was a, it was in this area where there was different cement. So we called the police. Mm. They opened it up. What? And sure enough, uh, an EVP, or this disembodied voice we caught, um, solved a 60-year-old missing person case. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How about for you, Mustafa? That that, that was a pretty crazy one. <laughs> I don't want to follow that. What, 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 what am I talking oh about? God. I heard a voice. Like, that's not... What am I going to say? No, I'm not going to give one. Oh, I'm that's sorry. Not, you should have started with me, man. Was, oh. You set me up for failure. You better cut this so mine, <laughs> mine comes second, Noah. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> No, we had. I had a recently had a case. Um, we believe that we were establishing contact with uh, an entity, and then uh, we have devices that we use to establish contact with them. So we had asked the entity at one point um, to step back from yes. this device. It was a motion detector because if you stand in front of it, it goes off. So then the motion detector goes off, the light goes out, and then we went back and reviewed the footage and the evidence. And we had a microphone there, and as the as the light was going off. We hear a voice saying, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was just really interesting. Yeah. Well, you guys, I have had such a blast chatting with you this morning. Be sure to catch the new season of Ghost Hunters Wednesday, August the 21st at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only on A&E. Thank you, Grant and Mustafa, for joining me this morning. It was a pleasure to speak with you both. Uh, Thank so you, much Noah. Fun. Likewise. Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. You too, man. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.